what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to make an impact transition it's basically for a complete noob so if you're a noob then you're definitely at the right place so let's just get right into the video so the first thing you want is two clips and i already kind of prepared them so as you can see i pre-composed them and in the pre-compositions are basically the clips so the original ones and i just scaled them up by uh, one percent because then if you use cc repital or motion tile we won't have these black bars and then of course we added cc repital because if we scale them we have just a little bit more of the edges so the first thing you want to do is hold ctrl alt shift plus y or you can also right click new and then no layer or no object and then just cut them up like this so it's the same length all right then you can link them so click on the original clip and then drag this thing here onto the null layer and now if we scale the null layer you can see our original clip will also scale so then the next thing you want to do is go around here somewhere and then press s to open up the scale section and then animate it and here you just want to zoom it in at the end so maybe like 150. also don't make it too short because this is a mistake that i see with a lot of beginners they keep it like very linear and also short and then it's not smooth at all like it will just zoom in out of nowhere and it won't look good at all so just keep it like this a little bit longer and then of course we're going to select them all f9 go to the graph editor and make it a little bit smoother like this and for these type of transitions where there's like a lot of impact don't be afraid to make the graphs a little bit more steep so maybe a little bit less steep for this one all right perfect um so now we're going to the next clip and then here you want to do the exact same thing Control alt plus shift plus y and then just cut it up and then don't forget to link it this is very important if you try to link it afterwards after doing all your animations then it won't work so really make sure you linked it first and then press s again and then here we're going to zoom it in again so you can do this transition in like different ways uh we firstly zoomed it in so we're going to zoom it in again but you can also zoom it out and then zoom it out again in the next clip so that's your choice so maybe about here and then to zoom it in we keep the first keyframe at 100 and then the next keyframe we'll set it to 120 maybe you also don't want to zoom in this one too much because then you know your clip will just not show anything and it'll be bad and then let's go to the graph editor again and just make a graph that looks like this so now we first wanted to go fast and then slow so as you can see here is where our impact point is so this is where our transitioning is happening on the previous keyframe we can see it goes fast here and on the next keyframe on the second clip it goes fast as well so that's really important you don't just randomly want to make this one slow because then it will look really weird um so you can actually make this one look good but if you're a beginner i definitely recommend just keeping like the impact fast and then going slower towards the middle of the clips all right now let's create even more impact so what we'll do is add an adjustment layer Control alt plus y and then let's cut it one frame before the impact so this is i'll just make a marker really quick this is where our impact point is we'll go one frame before it and cut it here and then we'll go two frames here and then cut it again all right and here we want to create some motion glitches so let's just add a shake and here we just want to increase the frequency so maybe 14 and then increase the amplitude as well and then i also like to go down to the tilt shake and not do too much of the tilt shake so maybe like one on the amplitude so now it moves around a little bit so we don't need to animate it because it's like a three frame glitch so you won't see the animation anyway and then the next thing you want to do is add an effect called invert and here we just got to try out these things here so i don't think rgb looks the best um but you can for example do this lightness and then i think it just has a lot more contrast and then animate the blend with original we'll just press u to see the keyframes and then we'll go one frame forward and just set this one to 100 because i don't want the last frame to be that impactful so we only have like two frames that are really uh, different so now it looks like this now we can glitch it even more by adding a wave warp and setting the type to noise so now you'll create like a bunch of these glitchy things here we do want to increase the wave height and then also the wave width so you can make this one really big all right something like this so now uh, you can just animate the wave height let's make it here like really big and then in the beginning a little bit less so like that and then here we'll just make it also a little bit less so like this all right and now as you can see we got a lot of impact on this frame and the reason is because we got a beautiful build up so first there's like slow parts for example here and then we go to a really fast motion immediately and then we go to like completely different frames so they got a lot of new colors um, and then we just slowly release the impact again by just adding a little bit of the glitch but not too much and as you can see we just fade it out and something slow again and this is really important for impact so you really want to keep this structure you don't just want to like have only this part where it's like really flashy and stuff because if you don't have the build up 
then it won't really be impactful. So this is how you create the impact transition. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. Fuck. <laughs> I, I fucked that up. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like a community where I'll help you a lot with editing. So if you're like really new to this, or you might already be a little bit of an intermediate editor, then I can really help you to boost your skills. All right. Bye-bye.